If you have a wardrobe full of clothes but never anything to wear, this video is for you. Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name's Ice Cream. Thank you so much for joining and if you're returning, thank you so much for coming back. So I did a little poll asking if you wanted this video and the majority of people said yes, so here it is. So as the title suggests, the video is all about capsule wardrobes. I am a huge advocate for the capsule wardrobe. Um, so I guess I should start with what it actually is for those of you that don't know. Um, so how I would define a capsule wardrobe is basically, it's just a collection of clothing and accessories and by accessories, I'm referring to shoes and bags that work interchangeably so you can mix and match and make um, a countless number of different outfits. It basically helps you to reduce the number of clothes you actually own and always have something to wear basically. So just a little bit about my journey then. So I guess my capsule wardrobe journey started maybe like an, a year and a half to two years ago. It was definitely during lockdown um, when we were all cooped up in the house with loads of time on our hands. And I was just really, I was trying to re refine my sense of style and it got me watching like lots of fashion videos and stuff like that. And then I kept coming, um, kept coming across the concept of a capsule wardrobe. I was really fascinated by it because I, w I really was that person that had a very big wardrobe full of clothes, but I never had anything to wear. I was always just wearing the same like few items in my wardrobe. I had so many um, items of clothing in my wardrobe that still had their tags on them. And it just didn't feel, it didn't sit right with me because it's like wasted money and like what's the point in having so many clothes if you couldn't actually wear them? And part of the reason that a lot of my, outfit, my clothes I couldn't wear was because I, I would literally just go out, there was no strategy, no plan, go to the shops and I'd see, oh, this pink dress is beautiful. Oh, this, these, yellow trousers i'm totally just exaggerating here but um yeah these yellow trousers are lovely and then you buy all these different things that don't work together so then in order to wear so say one day i want to wear the yellow trousers then i now have to go out and buy like stuff that will match it so it just didn't make sense to me and i really didn't like it and the capsule wardrobe just made so much sense so that's just a bit of, about my journey and then ever since then i started to build um, my very own capsule wardrobe and it's been a journey like it's not gonna you're not gonna get it right first time sometimes it does take trial and error but it's very much worth it and it will save you money in the long run and time i was going to include um capsule wardrobe mistake things not to do in this video but i don't want to overwhelm you with information so i can do that in a separate video so just let me know if you want me to do that for you i'm just that, so that you don't make some of the mistakes that i made Okay, so I actually was asked how to create a capsule wardrobe on TikTok a little while back and I did a really short form version on there. Um, so I guess this is a more of a detailed, detailed explanation. So the first step in creating a capsule wardrobe would be to figure out what your style is. So I always say, what do you feel most confident and comfortable in? And also what's your lifestyle like? Do you spend like most of your time at work, in workwear or like, what is your lifestyle like so you, you need to obviously fit that into your wardrobe so then once you actually figure out what your style is then you need to go into your wardrobe take everything out and i mean every last item in your wardrobe take it out put it on your bed and you're going to sort it into three piles so one pile will be your yes pile so these are the stuff that you're definitely keeping so from step one you've decided this is my style this is something that i would wear this is something i feel comfortable in so you keep the yes pile. You're gonna have a no pile. So that's stuff you can sell, recycle, donate to charity. And then the third pile is gonna be your maybe pile. Okay, so the maybe pile you're gonna have fun with. And you're basically gonna get yourself a mirror or stand in front of a mirror and try your maybe pile items on with your yes pile items and see if there's a place for it in your wardrobe. The ones that you can style with your yes items and you'll keep that. The ones that you feel you really can't, then you need to put that in the no pile and get rid of it as well. So I actually have a five ways to wear rule that I set for myself. So I'll never buy any item unless I have five ways to wear it with things that I already have in my wardrobe. Um, so I'll put in a, a little example here on the screen using my... Um, balloon leg trousers which I absolutely love unfortunately they don't do them anymore they're from ASOS collusion 
I will link similar ones down in the description box below for you because I have seen similar styles around. Um, but yeah, these trousers are so versatile. I absolutely love them. I can literally style them in over 10 ways. And that is what's kind of important with the capsule wardrobe is that they do go with different items in your wardrobe. So as you can see, I've worn it with a trench coat. I've worn it with, I'm trying to remember what else I wore it with, <laughs> blazers, jumpers. It really is very versatile and that's what you want to aim for. You want to be able to mix and match everything in your wardrobe so your trousers can go with various tops in your wardrobe and your blazers can go with various bottoms in your wardrobe and that kind of thing. If you want ideas for different ways to style different outfits, uh, different outfits, different items of clothing, then do follow me on Instagram and TikTok where I do, well on TikTok I do daily um, outfit and styling videos for you guys so because TikTok, Pinterest, Instagram, all that, YouTube are really good places to actually go to for inspiration or if you need kind of um, some help or some ideas for different ways to style things I do that all the time I'm often on Pinterest or just social media just looking at ways to style a brown blazer ways to style a black blazer like there's so much inspiration out there and um, all you need to do is just make sure that you're staying true to your style um, once you've done this then you will basically look through your wardrobe put everything back um, at this point you should be able to see all of your clothes as well um, and then just look and audit your clothes and see okay what am I missing make sure that you are putting everything back in your wardrobe in a very organized and clear way because it's really important that you're able to see everything that you have in your wardrobe because you, the last thing you want to do is buy duplicates of things that you already have just because you can't see them um, and then just try and maintain that I will be also doing a spring capsule wardrobe video. I do one for each season. So I have got a winter one. Um, and so obviously as we move into spring, I'll be doing one in a couple of weeks time, just to give you a bit of a guide. But um, yeah, so watch out for that video because that will give you a bit of a guide if you do want somewhere to start from. But what I would say is don't just copy my capsule wardrobe or anybody else's capsule wardrobe that you see on the internet because it needs to be tailored to your style and your lifestyle each season you definitely want to refresh your wardrobe your capsule wardrobe so for example going into spring now um so obviously i have my spring capsule wardrobe items already but just so you don't get bored of it you know you can go and you can go out and look for some things that you want to add to your wardrobe just to you know freshen it up just to give you some different looks that you can incorporate into your wardrobe because as you can imagine if you are never adding anything new then you're going to end getting bored with the looks so it's absolutely fine to do that this video is really short and sweet but i just wanted to give you a bit of this information hopefully it will resonate with you the whole kind of having so many clothes but never anything to wear um and hopefully this video has helped you to get started with kind of how to actually minimize your outfit minimize your clothing that you have in your wardrobe but actually be able to have a lot more outfits to wear and to be a lot more considered with like your purchases and things like that i honestly feel now more than ever i can say that i honestly know my personal style and i feel so confident and so happy with it and this video hopefully will help you get to that point too so yeah comment down below if you did find this video helpful and also stay tuned for my spring capsule wardrobe video which will be coming in a couple of weeks um, that will give you a bit of a starting point to work with for when you're building your own capsule wardrobe also do you already have a capsule wardrobe if you do i'd be interested to hear it how has your journey been um please share all that information down below let's let's get a conversation going also don't forget to share this video with anybody that you think it might help um and yeah catch you in my next one bye